Today we are taking a look at the portal and the sequence from Parallel Limited. These are both O-ring gasket mounted 65% keyboards. Today I'm using a 30A O-ring gasket for this demonstration. Parallel sent over three different colors for me to take a look at. I have this really nice emerald green, this e-lavender, and then this dark navy blue. I'm really a fan of all three and you know, if you know me at all, you know that I really love the lavender color. So it's personally my favorite. And secondly, the green just looks absolutely stunning. Like how it shines in the light is just breathtaking. So personally, I think both boards are fantastic. I think, you know, if you're in the more budget range, I would go with the sequence. But if you want something with a little bit more style and a little bit more personality, maybe go with the portal. I want to show you briefly how to disassemble this board and reassemble this board. On the plate, under the slash key, there is a place where you can easily remove the plate and PCB combo. I'm using a keycap puller as it fits just right to me. All you have to do is stick it in and then slightly lift the assembly and it should come out with no issue. When replacing the assembly, start at the arrow blocker, making sure you're seating the O-ring near the very top portion of the blocker. This will guarantee a perfect fit in the resting points around the board. You'll have to finesse the O-ring around the backspace area if you use Durac stabilizers like I did. I also use a keycap puller to gently push the O-ring into place. This is the only method I found to work. If you have something better in mind, please let me know because I, I don't really know how to do it. A key difference is that the portal features a mirror internal weight whereas the sequence features a more simple all-in-one design to keep a more timeless look. I prefer the look of the portal more just because it's something to look at. And especially if you have that uh, multicolor finish, it looks really stunning. Something really awesome that Parallel Limited did with these two boards is they made the PCB and the plate compatible between both. So if you already have a portal, you can get the new sequence case in a color that you like and just switch everything over. Both boards feature a daughter board. I'm much happier with the placement of this on the sequence as I love a center place USB. However, I understand why they didn't put it in the center with the portal because the weight is centered and more near that top portion, but I prefer it more here in the sequence. The introduction of a daughter board also allows for more flex without interference with your USB connection. So, you know, since this is over in gasket mounted, you really want it to be bouncy and if it was connected to the PCB, there might be limitations. So this resolves that. For the sound test demonstration, I'm using the plate that I received with my original portal to compare the sound between the two boards. I am aware that this is the aluminum plate and that is an upgrade in the sequence. However, I don't have spare switches at the moment to solder into a whole new PCB to show the FR4 sound. So this is what I'm using for now. I hope you understand. A fun fact is that the sequence fully built actually weighs 12% more than the portal since the whole body is aluminum. This is something to keep in mind. Here's the FR4 plate. It's really pretty and I would love to use it. So hopefully in the future, I'll get some switches to use this with.
Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for stopping by the channel again, and I'll see you later.